My name is Lynn Thomas. I am the world's premier Playboy Playmate and Penthouse Pet. And I am also a Perfect 10 model. When I started modeling, I was 18 years old. I started in New York City. I went to college there and met a photographer who suggested that I send photos into Playboy. And I said, no. <laughs> and then eventually my mom told me that I should pursue it, and so I did. I was scared to pose for Playboy, I think, the first time, which is why I told the photographer no. I was afraid that the magazine was much more explicit than it actually was. I had never seen a Playboy. The porn I saw when I was young was your basic video, softcore and hardcore both, just videos. Oh, and I, I saw a few magazine layouts that involved men with erections, and <laughs> I became strangely excited by that. I was introduced to porn by a girlfriend of mine in uh, junior high who had taped all these things off of some cable program. I had my first sexual experience with somebody that I was in love with. My first sexual experience was romantic, but painful. <laughs> um, I was about 16 when we met, and uh, he was a Navy boy. I started masturbating when I was about seven years old. <laughs> I had my first orgasm shortly after I started masturbating. Really? Didn't you? Very early. It felt great. I didn't know what it was. I didn't know what an orgasm was until years after I had been having them. I grew up in a very strict household, so I did not get into toys until I was in college. When I was in college, I ordered away for this. It was called a multi-orgasmic kit. <laughs> And I called up and I ordered this thing, it was a dildo, and it had like all these attachments. Very dangerous looking attachments. <laughs> um, I had all these fantasies about what I would like to do when I started having sex while I was masturbating. So I knew what I wanted to do and what it would take to get me off. And that's what I told them to do. It's um, basic type of positions that I want to do, or certain type of movements, and he actually was extremely oral, so he used to go down at me all the time, that helps. <laughs> um, oral sex is much more intimate, in a way, and it's much more personal because everybody has a different thing that they like, and a little different style. Um, my favorite part of my body, if you mean in the Rajam Stone, is uh, my nipples.
been able to come just from a guy playing with my nipples, but I've heard it's possible, so I'm willing to try. <laughs> are you very dominant usually in bed? And it's like, is that like something that you are? Or, or Am are you I dominant in bed? Hmm. It depends on the person. I can go either way. I'm, I'm sort of switchable. I used to be a dominatrix, and at the time I was switchable. And that's sort of how I am in my own life. Mm. So if a guy is, I, I tend to, I usually go for guys that are not, only because they, I, I like good boys. And good boys tend to be a little bit more submissive in the bedroom. So it usually ends up where I'm initiating everything. But I can go the other way too, gladly. I'd like to have a guy come and, you know, have his way. <laughs> when I was young, I was extremely awkward. <laughs> and, uh... And very shy, which I still am shy, but very awkward. Now. They used to call me skinny moments. I have not, I have not been off the continent of North America. You're joking. I need to You're go. You're joking. I need to. I just never had the opportunity. When I was in high school, I lived a sheltered life with my mom, and then when I went to college, I accelerated through to get out as fast as I could. So I never did a work study or a abroad program. Uh, and then since I've graduated, I've just been modeling. It hasn't taken me outside of the country, unfortunately. I posed for Playboy. I started posing for Playboy in, uh, when I was 18, and then the actual issue came out in 97. When people first saw my layout, I think that they were just kind of proud to know somebody that had been in the magazine. So I would get all these calls from people I hadn't spoken to in years from my high school and things like that, or letters, or people trying to track me down. And the people in my college were cool. They just, you know, they acted like it was no big deal. It was good. I had a lot more prank calls after my Playboy issue came out. A lot more prank calls at my college dorm. <laughs> and some stalker action, but hey. Oh my god. You know, it came out when I almost graduated. Like yeah. uh, a month yeah. before I did. My Playboy issue came on the newsstands in May of 97. And that was about the same month that I graduated. I graduated college in 97. So I didn't have a lot of time when it came out, between when it came out and when I was out of there to have any problems. I became a dominatrix after I graduated college. I lived in New York City and I met somebody again in New York City just walking along. This is where my fate takes me. And um, he ran the studio. And so I came in and I saw all the equipment, I saw what the girls did and how it worked, and it was really interesting. So I decided to give it a go, and I moonlighted for a little while as a dominatrix in New York. Being a domin was an experience for sure. I enjoyed some of it, and a lot of it was surprising, but it was all learning experience. It, it added to my sexual life, in a sense, not the people that I, I would dominate, but that it gave me a little bit more to go on in my own. Um, the biggest request that I had from submissive men was to be ver verbally humiliated. And the second biggest request that I had was uh, whipping and bondage. I never took it that far in my, in my personal life. I took it maybe to some bondage, but never, I, I was never with somebody who wanted to be dominated, full out dominated. So I never took that. But I would. <laughs>
I have always loved to watch guys masturbate. There's just something the so sexy about it. Really? Yeah. I love the I love the fact that his arm looks strong. It's got the veins running through it and the muscles and the, the penis looks strong and really I just love that. Yeah. Really? It's very sexy. That's one of my biggest problems. Um, I like I like massages. I love massages. Those are my good terms. Oh yeah. The massage is good, I'm so into it. Being massaged is like having a full body orgasm if it's done right. It just it makes you feel so good. When I when I give a guy oral, I like to be in the moment. I like to just be totally focused on that. Right. So if I'm masturbating, that takes away from it. Oh, does it? Okay. Yeah. If it turns him on, if it if it adds to his pleasure, yeah. absolutely, I'm there. The most erotic place I've ever made love. Um, it's pretty simple. It was on the beach, but it was in a hotel on the beach, yeah. and it was right near the balcony. We were on the floor. Right near the balcony, and we had the windows open, and there was just this beautiful breeze coming through. It felt really nice on the skin, and it was, it was erotic. Um, on my website, I do guy girl photos for my fans, right. but I, I don't really go that far. What do you usually do? Usually, it's implied sex. There's some nudity. I'm fully nude, of course, but implied. It's a long time. Yeah, I mean, some things happen while you're shooting, but, you know, <laughs> I don't put those pictures up there. <laughs> uh -huh. A compliment would probably be the eyes. I think everybody always says the eyes, but if they want to ask me something, it's, are those real? Sometimes I, I'll have these photos for sale, 8x10s, and girls will say to me, or guys will come up and say, when did you have your breasts, uh, when did you have them enlarged, when did you have the implants taken out? But it's all about nature, you know, certain times of the month they get big.